Hey, 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 you guys, I am back with another video. And today's topic, we are talking all about 15 feminine hacks that every woman needs to know. So if that is something that interests you, make sure you stick around and stay tuned. All right, so if you don't know me, I am Latursa, and I talk a lot on this channel about self-care, hygiene, um, entrepreneurship, and motivation. So if that is something that interests you, go ahead and subscribe. I won't bite. I promise you I won't bite. So let's jump right into it. So the first hack you want to do is these are some tips that I find to be very helpful. And you know how I know I always want to share with you guys. So the first thing you need to know is you need to know your body natural odor. And when I say natural odor, I'm talking about when you first get out the shower, you hadn't put any lotion, deodorant, or anything like that. What is your natural odor? Because that'll kind of guide you in what you need to do to take good care of yourself. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. If you don't know what your natural smell is, if something were to get off with you, you won't know if something is wrong. See, when you know your natural body odor, your natural smells and all of that, you can sense when something's wrong. And so how you can do this is when you get out the shower, instead of you putting deodorant on right away, wait, wait 30 minutes to an hour. If it's like, say it's on the weekend, you don't have to go anywhere. I'm not telling you to do that and go out because you don't really want to do that. But sit around just like you normally do for about 30 minutes or an hour and see um, how you smell. It may be a loud, strong odor. It may be a whiff that be like, whoo, to hit you in the face, but you won't know until you try it out. That way, when something is off, you can kind of tell if something is going wrong, like you got a fish smell or something's real strong. You'll know something's wrong because you know your natural body odor. Does that make sense? And then the second tip you want to do is wear only cotton panties. And y'all know I always talk about this because, see, when I was a young girl, I mean, I'm still young, too. I'm just, you know, on the mature side, you know. But when I was a young girl, I thought the little silk panties from Victoria's Secret and all that little stuff and little thongs and stuff. I never will forget, y'all. Let me tell you how this story. I came home from college one time, and I think I was, I was dating this one guy. I was dating, yeah, I want to say I was I was dating. It was by my junior year. I think I was dating my college sweetheart or something. But anyway, at that time, I would wear a lot of thongs because, you know, I thought it was sexy. I thought it was cute. I mean, he liked it. But I brought my clothes home one week to one weekend when I was home. And, you know, when you ain't been home in a while, you know, your mama want to do your laundry, do all this. And she came across, <laughs> she came across my thongs. She was like, now, baby. Now, I ain't trying to be nosy or nothing, but what the hell is this? And you know, my mama don't curse. She's like, you can't get all your behind in this. What is this supposed to be? I said, mama, it's a thong. She said, well, you need to take that thong back and throw it in trash somewhere. Because cause that don't even look like that feel good. <laughs> you, you know how your mamas be. I said, mama, but that's what's in. She's like, baby, you ain't got to, you ain't got to wear everything that's in. Because that, that right there look like that's going to set you up for an infection. Mind you, it was funny at the time, but my mama was on to something. Because if you wear thongs a lot, it's really unsanitary. Because just think about how a thong is. It's up in the crack of your behind. And then it's all tight in your, your lady part area. So you really don't have any breathing room. It's really unsanitary when you think about it. Because over a period of time, you just need to throw them all in the trash. But... Wearing cotton panties will help your lady part breathe down there. And then, like I tell y'all, at night, go to bed nude. It's not going to keep, girl, let her breathe. She probably she probably would thank you. If your lady girl could talk, she probably would thank you. Be like, girl, about time you let me out. Because, I mean, she's always covered up. And then, too, you want to stay away from tight, tight clothes all the time. You know, if you're always wearing tight jeans, tight leggings, all that stuff, you're not breathing. And if you're always wearing, you know, your shapewear, spanks and stuff, girl, your lady part needs to breathe. So cotton panties, even if it's silk on the main part, but make sure that seat part be cotton part. You, I'm telling you, you, you need 
cotton. And then the next one is knowing your right bra size. That'll save you from like, uh, oof. That'll save you from like shoulder pains. You ever know when you don't have on the right bra size, if it's too little, if it's too tight, if it's not big enough, you know, you either have spillage or like for me, not so much that I have big breasts, but my shoulders and my back is wide. So that always makes me go up a size because if I get the size of my breasts, my back is going to be uncomfortable because my back is, my shoulders and things are broad. So you want to make sure you can go to like your local JCPenney's, your local Victoria's Secret. You can go to those places and they will measure you to get your right bra size for free. So make sure you wear comfortable bra, bra sizes because if you're not wearing the right bra size, I'm telling you, your girls will be just painting you and they'll let you know this ain't it, you know. Because the more, even the more you grow or as you get older, you know, you gain weight, you lose weight, you got to keep getting checked, getting sized. Because sometimes when you lose weight, you go down a size. Sometimes when you gain weight, you go up a size or two. So having the right bra size will make your life a whole lot better. And then the next one is um, you have to know that your body odor changes as you get older. My body odor from when I was a little girl, teenage girl, is totally different from the woman body odor now. And you got to realize, especially us mothers, we've had babies. If you've, uh, some of you guys may be going through menopause. Um, some of you may be, um, you know, in your 40s like I am. And your body just go through different changes and your body odor changes. So you got to keep abreast of that because deodorants that may work for you in your 20s they may not even work for you now and and that's another thing you gotta be okay with switching deodorants some deodorants just i think sometimes the deodorant gets so immune to your body chemistry that it just stopped working at some point point. and so what i'm finding and y'all know i love native but here's what i found about native i can't wear native out like all day i'm gonna tell you the truth I love Native, especially if you're just around the house and you want to go to bed and you want to sleep, Native is good. But if you're going about your regular day, you're cleaning, you're going to work and doing all that, Native will tell all your secrets. I'm telling you about after three to four hours, Native be showing out. It's good because it don't have no parabens in it. It don't have no aluminum, all that. And I'm trying to be as healthy as I can. But y'all ain't trying to be healthy and musty too. And Native will have you musty. If you, I don't know, it's just something about after four, three to four hours, I start feeling that little musty smell. And I'm like, uh-uh, you, you ain't finna catch me slipping. So I went, you know, I always love my dove. So I went back to my cucumber melon dove. You know, it works for me, but I can wear native as long as I'm around the house and not doing much activity. But when I get the cleaning or running errands, Native don't work real good for me. Native be telling all my secrets. So be mindful of that, that your your um, body odor changes as you get older. And then the next one is, like I said, I always jump ahead of myself, but it's okay for you to switch out deodorant. See, that was one of my things when I was young. I guess I was so accustomed to using the deodorants that my mom bought me, but they weren't working for me. So I would be musty. And so it's okay to switch out your deodorants. If something's not working for you, don't keep using it and, and cause yourself all that embarrassment. So listen, your older self is going to thank you. Try different deodorants. See which one works for you. Don't be afraid to switch out your deodorants. And them little dollar deodorants, you know, sometimes they work. Now, they have some good ones at the Dollar Tree, but that secret at the Dollar Tree, Secret and me, we ain't never really worked good. Even when I, I remember when I was a kid using um, um, Lady Speed Stick, that stuff didn't work for me. Um, I remember it was one called Arid. It was like cream and you rub it up on your arm. That stuff had me so musty. I mean, it was just sad. But the older woman in me now, I'm not afraid to go through trying different deodorants. If something ain't working for me, I ain't sticking with it. You know, I'm just going to change and find something that does work. And it's okay. And then the next thing is, uh, the next tip about your feminine hygiene is 
you got to realize what works for another woman may not work for you. Just like native don't work for me all day, it may work wonders for you all day. But for me, I can't wear it all day and still stay fresh. Now, Dove, Dove, I could wear that all day and be fresh as a little baby's bottom. But you got to understand when I give recommendations on this channel, some things I recommend may work for you and some things not because you got to remember your body odor and chemistry is different from mine. But when I find something that works, I bet you I'm seriously going to share it with you. And then you try it. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, no hard feelings. But you got to be willing to understand and to know off the bat what works for somebody else may not work necessarily for you. I had to get my water. You guys got thirsty. Mm. And that brings me to my next tip. Make sure you are drinking lots of water. Water is good for a lot of things, you guys. But when you drink lots of water, you are cleaning out toxins out of your body. When you add a little lemon in there, and I used to do this, but I know lately it's been rough over here. And I've been slipping, but I used to wake up in the mornings because y'all know I'm an early bird. I used to wake up in the mornings and cut me up slices of lemon and put them in my water and put it in the microwave and warm it up so I can drink that fresh, warm lemon water because lemons detoxify your body. So when you add that to your water, it's removing all those toxins because here's how you can tell if you're drinking enough water. If you go to the bathroom and your urine is really clear, you know you're doing good. But if you go to the bathroom and your urine is dark brown, dark yellow, you know you need to drink more water. And you can tell because your urine will have a different smell when it's really clear and when it's dark yellow. So keep that in mind. You'll know if, you're, if you are dehydrated and need to drink more water by the color of your urine. And then the next one is um, keeping up with your regular PEP exams. That's how you can stay on top of when your body is functioning right, when your body is off on a little thing or two. And keep in mind that you don't have to try every new product that comes out. Just because it's a new product that comes out, that doesn't necessarily mean you got to go buy it. Because I always tell people, I don't switch products, feminine products that often. But when I do, it's something I know that I'm going to like. You know, because I like trying new stuff, but... For my lady parts down there, I don't try a lot of new stuff down there. And I guess that's one reason why Honey Pot, the feminine wash, it didn't really work all that good for me. Especially, it, it's just something about his phone. And I just didn't really feel like I was all that clean. But my, my Dove Sensitive Bar Soap, it works wonders down there. Or the Dove Baby Body Wash from head to toe, that works really wonders. But besides them two, that's all I use down there. I don't be switching up and using all that other stuff. Because that stuff will have you irritate, throw off your pH balance, and all that good stuff. So make sure you're getting your annual checkup, your pep smith, your physicals, all that kind of stuff. And then here's my other tip. Showering at least twice a day. I know with us stuck in the house and we're not really going anywhere, we probably cut the showers down to once. But at least take a shower once a day. And take a thorough shower... Try to take your showers when you know you have time. Because, you, you know, them little hit and miss, you know, when you, well, I still do hit and miss. Oh, excuse me. If I'm just around the house and I'm cleaning and I ain't necessarily ready to take a shower, I do a little hit and miss. You know, the important spots on your arms, your lady parts, your behind, your foot, you know, them, them, them important parts. But allow yourself time like this morning. I wasn't really feeling all my best, but I wanted to take me a hot, warm, a warm bath. And that's what I did. It was it was really early. You probably say, Tosa, that's too doggone early. But it was 4 o'clock because, I mean, I really couldn't sleep anyway. Um, so I got up and took me an hour bath, just sat in the tub, soaked. And then once I got through, I took a shower to wash myself good. But it just felt really good to really soak. And that's another thing. Take time out for self-care because I'm telling you, as you get older, your body need a whole lot more TLC than when you were younger. See, I, I always tell people, you young right now, but keep living. And I'm not old, but I'm just saying my body is not the same as it was when I was in my early 20s, teenage years. 
it's a lot of things I have to do different now, especially, you know, being after I've had kids and all that stuff. Your body is not the same and it'll never be the same, but you got to learn how to take care of the body you have now and the body you want to have in the future because you only get one body. So taking care of your hygiene, taking showers every day. And I always tell people, especially if you work outside the home, when you come home, make sure you take them clothes off and put them in the washing machine. You know, even if you don't wash it right then, but you don't want the germs from outdoors lingering in your bedroom. That's why one of my pet peeves is I always have to take a shower or a bath before I go to bed at night. Sometimes like lately, you know, I haven't been really feeling my best, but I like to get in my bed clean. That's my safe haven. So taking that shower washes off those germs from outdoors, you know, it just washes off that all day scent. So taking a shower is really good. And then the next one is um, keeping your hair trimmed down there. You know, hair holds odor. And if you don't be mighty careful, you have a whole tree down there. And I'm not saying you have to go nude and all that. You know, I like that. But, you know, everybody is different. But keep it trimmed down there. Keep it looking nice, you know, down there. Don't have it be looking all like it's. I don't know, like it's in the wood or something. I don't know. You want to keep it fresh. And an another thing that I do, because you got hair down there, I take my shampoo from uh, that I wash my hair, and I wash the, my hair like that to keep, you know, because odor sets up in there. And so I just take a little bit, like a little dime size, and wash my hair down there. because, Or you could use, um, you know, I only use my Vagisil uh, feminine wash when I'm on that time of the month. But I take that and wash my hair, not on the inside of my my lady part, but the hair part. I wash that just so I can get a fresh scent down there. And then you can even take that, you know, with your Irish Spring back there and and just, you know, use that vaginal, you know, Vagisil, the sensitive kind, and rub it in with your Irish Spring and and that backside, you know, in any extra TLC. So anything you can put back there to make sure the scent is taken care of, that's what you do back there. But for your lady part, you be as gentle as possible because, you know, it's sensitive down there. And then the next one is make sure you're brushing your teeth and flossing and rinsing every day and brush that tongue. If y'all want to see my oral hygiene routine, it's a video I did. I'll put the link up here or it'll be in the description box. But Y'all, I'm telling you, if you ain't brushing your teeth and flossing right, I'm telling you, when you eat, those food particles and stuff stay in between your teeth, especially if you got tight teeth like I do. It sets up room for cavities. It turns that that leftover food particles turns into sugar. And you know, sugar's not good for your teeth. And so if you are not flossing on a daily basis, if you're not brushing that tongue, because you know, a lot of germs set up on your tongue. Make sure you're taking care of your teeth. You only get one set while you're here on this earth. Take care of them babies and take care of your breath because I, I always do this and I, I give something to my kids too. I have those breath mints in my purse. I have gum. I have those breath little slide sticky things that you put on your tongue and they dissolve because you know that tongue, you know, that's why I say just brush your tongue. I think I brush mine sometimes too much because it'd be bleeding. But you got to make sure you're brushing your teeth and stuff really well. And then, like I said earlier, limit the tight clothes that you are wearing. Because it set up room for, it set up room for, it don't allow your lady parts to breathe. If you are always wear tight clothes you can come up with yeast infections if you're not drinking enough water you come up with utis and all of that good stuff and 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 here's another tip you know and i know i probably need to do a separate video on this but ladies for those of you that are active sexually active make sure when you are done having intimacy with your your, your partner and stuff make sure you go use the bathroom because i'm telling you you need to wash all those you know, those particles and germs and, you know, talk, to, you need to wash all that stuff out. So if you're not peeing right after sex, you are messing yourself up, girlfriend. And, and then too, your partner, make sure he clean. Cause I'm telling you, 
you know, if he, you know, the type that like to touch and feel and all, if he doing all that, make sure his hands clean. Cause I'm telling you, your lady part is sensitive down there and any dirt or anything that gets down up in there. And see, then you be wondering why you constantly getting all these UTIs and all these urinary tracts and yeast infections, but you're not cleaning yourself after sex. You're not peeing after sex. And then you need to be checking for your partner too. Check your man and make sure he's showering and stuff. Cause if he ain't clean, guess what? His germs gonna pass right on over to you. And then you be wondering why you got this smell. It's because your partner ain't clean. So I'm telling you, it may sound a little extra, but listen, if he wants the goods, he gonna have to go wash his hands. He, I won't see him take a shower. Look, you just got to be, sometimes you just got to be a little extra because when you're trying to take care of yourself, when you're sleeping around, sleeping with somebody, you need to make sure he's, he's clean too. Because you can be clean as ever, but if your man is not clean and he going up inside of you and then he touching you and all that stuff and his hands ain't clean, that's why you keep getting UTIs. That's why you keep getting BV and all that kind of stuff because your man ain't clean. You know, they be quick to check us if we ain't fresh. But how about, boo, if you ain't fresh, can we check you? Like, can we tell you, go get in the shower? Yes, we can. So it's a lot of stuff that you have to be mindful of, you guys, when you are um, talking about taking care of your, your hygiene. It's a lot that goes into it. So I hope I didn't run all over the place. I hope I didn't... Um, I hope you learned something, at least one tip or something. If you're still watching this to this day, comment below and say, fresh all day. Let me know that you guys have stuck around. Y'all are my oldies. Let me know that you stuck around. Comment below, fresh all day. So I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for hanging out with me. Remember to follow me on Instagram. I have it on the screen here below. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel and so you won't miss another episode because I do new videos every week. Remember, I love you guys. You are absolutely enough and everything you need is already on the inside of you. God bless and I'll see you soon.